What's going on people? N7650 here. Just want to show you today how we're going to change these ridiculously ugly chrome grills that come stock on the car for some double slatted M style gloss black ones. And no, before you ask, I will not be putting a fake M6 badge on my car. I'm not that guy. So we're going to start with removing these grills. Now I've heard a couple different ways to do it. Uh, I've heard anything from directly just grabbing and ripping them out, which I'm not so inclined to try. Uh, and the other option is to pop the hood, move a weather strip and a couple bolts, and basically you come up underneath from here, and there's clips all around the edge that you can work your way out. So let's get started. Okay, so first up, we got to remove the weather strip so that we can get this piece become unbolted. So to reveal those, really just peel her up. Put that anywhere. So we got, looks like a couple of the standard BMW uses the Torx bits. I think it was on a T20. All right, so basically we got to remove these Torx bits. They are size T30. So get you one of those. We're just gonna get all these loosened up. Okay, so the first thing that kind of tripped me up for half a second here was this little plastic piece. Uh, as you can see, there was a Torx bit in there, and I thought I was going to have to remove these to get to it, but you can just literally lift it up and pull it out. So, right, so next up, we got these little push pins, screws, whatever you want to call them. Just put that in there, and literally all you're going to do is just pull. Got to give it a little force, because they can be, oops, they can be in there pretty good. But like just like that, you just lift it up. Same again on the other side. Go ahead and pop these two. Yeah, so pop those out, and as you can see, when you go to put them back in, um, you're just gonna squeeze and slide it in. So chuck those in there. So now the next step is to sort of peel this forward, and there's um, there's clips on the inside, and you pop these clips out, and then you just pull the grill out. Okay, so as you can see. Here's the new one, which by the way, is gonna look way better. Uh, but there's these clips. So essentially you're gonna find these clips on the factory kidney grills, push these in, and then you have to sort of work your way around the edge and pop it out. So to get started, I mean, you can fully remove this if you want to, I'm not gonna do that. But literally you're just, with all this stuff removed, you can just peel this up and forward. And I don't know if you can see, but yeah, there's the clips. So we're gonna remove all right, so first one's out future sight of my uh, cold air intake it's uh this is a pain in the ass to get this thing out um the top ones and the side ones aren't so bad but these bottom ones you got to really reach your hand all up in there just to get at them and just barely get enough pressure out i'd advise you when you're pulling it out to crack the top ones and have it set so these are these are good now and then work your way around because the bottom ones are much more difficult to get to but now that it's out of the way we can make access to the other grill from here. So do not install the new one until you got both of them. Okay, we got snore thruster mode enabled. Grills are out. Um, I, I have seen guys just literally rip these out, but you're gonna risk damaging these, breaking all this. And up on the inside, just underneath, under right under this little lip, there's some lines and wiring and stuff. So don't do that, be careful. So the install, here's the fun part. Literally take it. Get it on the right side first. Line it up. Just basically just. And there you are. Gloss back black kidney grills on your F13. It's really that simple. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd rate this at a 3 for difficulty. Um, it can be a little frustrating if you have big hands and you're trying to get to the lower ones. But once you get this first one out, um, it's so much better. So yeah, there you go.